One thing I love about uh, uh, talking with entrepreneurs is when they uh, really solve a pain point, and particularly a pain point in my life. And uh, I, you might know I have uh, three sons, and the youngest is four, so he, he just went through preschool. And one of the pain points there was getting him into preschool. And uh, here we're talking to uh, a company called Kidamit, who helps uh, make that process a lot easier. I'm Tejal Shaw and I'm the CEO. And uh, my journey began, I'm a mechanical engineer from the University of Rochester, so I'm actually an engineer from the start. And my career has taken me through designing car parts for Ford Motor Company, all the way into technology. And along the way, moved from the west, East Coast to the West Coast, got married, had a few kids, and uh, went from anywhere from the engineering side all the way into financial services and then uh, into technology. Very cool. And so uh, you start, started this company called Kidamit. Briefly, what does it do? Yeah, so we help streamline the admissions process for both parents and preschools. Uh, when I went through the process myself, and I know you were alluded to it earlier, that it was hard to just figure out what that process entailed and then all the manual steps involved in it because uh, these schools are not digitized. They haven't really kept up with the times. And so we just make it really easy for parents to know what all of their options are and then submit online, be, make it very actionable, and then for schools to, to you know st keep up with the times. Yeah, I saw you at uh, one of these uh, launch conferences run by Bambi Fr Francisco, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Vader Splash, and I, I was impressed by it because you answer the pain of somebody's life pretty clearly, right? Before you came along, what, what's the process of getting a kid in in a normal preschool in like New York or San Francisco. Sure, and um, first, people don't know what all their options are. You know, you once you have a kid, then you start asking around, and not everyone has a group of friends that maybe had kids. I was the first of my group, so um, while I did have some recommendations I got, and they were on the other side of the city, and then I was in a relatively new neighborhood, uh, Soma, and there weren't a lot of options that anyone had heard of, and so I, I started, I had to buy books. I couldn't believe that. In the age of internet, I had to actually go buy books, attend seminars, uh, after that, I went to go visit the schools. I, had to, I created what, I, what any parent would do, an Excel spreadsheet to manage all the steps. I had to physically handwrite all of the paper applications, mail them in, and then, of course, yes, I am type A. <laughs> so I had to call them and follow up on, like, did you get it? Did you do this? Uh, the, the payment for the application fees was all checked. So lots of different manual steps. And uh, on top of that, I had a full-time job. So uh, it was quite manual and lab labor intensive. Yeah. And what, and maybe we can see what what you came up with. What's the new way of doing it now? Sure. For now, um, even with the books, they didn't have all the information. So what we do is simply, you know, enter your address, city, or zip, and you can start your search. And does this work in just the United States or just Cal where does this work? Yeah. So we're in the Greater Bay Area. So we're nine counties in the Greater Bay Area, and uh, but. You know, any, any school in the United States can actually use Kid Admit. We're just geographically located at this moment just because it makes it easier for parents with a concentration of all the features we can add in a particular yeah. area. So you can see it in a list view or a map view. And then you can add some filters. So we just took, took down, like, what's the easiest things, and after talking to a lot of parents, what's the easiest things that people can narrow down? Now, when people think what's important in a preschool, a lot of it's subjective, but there's a lot of just logistical stuff involved. So that's what we wanted to focus on. Yeah. So we took the location. What type of it? Is it a daycare, a preschool, a family home center? And then there's, of course, descriptions of everything um, if you need more thing. Then what type of program type? If you know a specific, like you're interested in an Italian school or a play-based, you give that option, but it's not required. And then the school schedule. For most people, they want either full-time or part-time, and that's hard to distinguish because that information is not readily available. Yeah. And then, of course, price. That's another big thing people look for. Is, you know, one of my sons is a special needs uh, kid. Would it show that uh, that there's services for special needs kids? Or we do like have that. that. Um, most schools, you know, it's such a it's it's a touchy t subject because the, there's such a range, and yeah. so a lot of people are on the, you know, that they're they're on the lower end of the spectrum, so they're maybe diagnosed with certain things, but the schools can actually handle that. So not a lot of them want to be categorized in that because they can accommodate a lot more students than, exp uh, but maybe not on the on the other end of the spectrum. So yeah. that's been a little bit touchy to get those. 
programs specialize, but the ones that cater to just that, uh, those children, we do have a special needs section here. Very cool. Yeah. How, do you, uh, how do you make money with this? Do you charge the parent or do you charge the school? Because uh, I assume you're uh, getting something somewhere. Right? Yes, yes. It's, <laughs> it's always good to make money, right? So, uh, so basically what we have is uh, it's free for the schools because then they have a back-end integration where they can review all the applications. And, and uh, parents are paying just an extra $10 in addition to the um, application fee. Yeah. And the good thing about that is it, we've integrated credit card payments, all of the features, and you, it's all in one place. So you can manage, track everything. No more calling the school up, n none of that stuff. You can just have faith. Right now, your uh, you have your database has San Francisco only in it, or does it have other cities? We have well? other cities. We just haven't turned them on yet. Okay, so they're coming. <laughs> they're coming. Uh, how do you uh, get over the chicken and egg problem? Because uh, parents want this. I think it's pretty cool but the school might not yet know about it, might not have their data, and might not even be able to uh, integrate with you, right? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so any school can integrate it, but you're right, though, how do they hear about us? So that's what we've been working on. Our team of, uh, is working hard to, to get the outreach up. We've been partnering with a lot of organizations that do already have those relationships with the preschool, so then we can hit a larger group um, at, at one time. And it's the same thing, and then parents, the one thing is when we do partner with school, they put the kid admit button right onto their website, ah. And so then the parents, when they go to, if they go to just the school's website, they see that all the applications are going through KidAdmit, and that helps uh, keep fueling the, the system. And as more and more parents hear about it, more and more schools use it, that is helping uh, turn both sides up. Does your system do anything after the, af after the uh, kid gets accepted into the preschool? Does it help in integrate with the parents at all, or, or does it just go away and then wait for the next batch of parents who need the preschool? No, the next thing is to, so, so our whole thing is being a platform for growing children. So that's exactly what we want to do. So we want to be able to take this, because now you have a place that you can update information and then apply that to all the other times you're applying or admitting your child. And uh, the thing is, yes, while preschool is an application process, elective, selective, and colleges like that, K through 12, maybe not so. There's so many other times you're enrolling your child or registering your child. It could be an activity, a class, after school. It, it's just, you know, you have three kids. Yeah. It's like constant. And, and with every child you have, that paperwork just increases and in how many different systems you have to update. Very so what cool. we want to do is have that, that core. Very cool. What was the challenge of building this business? Because I'm sure there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there. Oh, that looks fairly simple to do. I, I have a need or a pain point on something else. Maybe I'd like to do this. What's been the challenge of getting this business going? I think the, the biggest one was just uh, structuring the data in a consistent manner because you know schools have a tendency to create things very unique to themselves and, and that's what differentiates one school and over, over another. So just making sure that the data that we share with, with uh, parents was easily digestible. So I think that's the biggest, that was the biggest thing. And I'll give you a quick example of that. Okay. Kick me out here. So we provide just the basic information that a parent would know, but you see this tuition detail yeah. and how this is laid out. That changes so specifically from school to school to show. So replicating that, that was the secret formula of making sure that we had gotten that done. Very cool. How, how is the business done? How, how has it worked here in San Francisco? It's been great. I mean, the feedback has been incredible. As schools uh, feel like this is a very simple solution that we can help utilize technology. Their biggest fear is technology is complicated and as we have people that are a little bit older in the education system. So they just love that how simple it was. We worked with a lot of directors to make sure that's as easy as possible. It's easier to overcomplicate something, so I think yeah. that's what we take pride on. And the parents, it's just saved them so much time, they can keep track of everything. It, give, it gives everyone a peace of mind, like no one's yeah. being overlooked, and that's been the challenge from, and I think that was the pain point from the beginning. It's like, you send in an application and then you don't hear for two to three years. Yeah, I noticed there was a Facebook uh, sign-in button. Are you doing yep. any integration with Facebook events or, or other uh, things, or are you thinking about how to use Facebook? to make the service better? Yeah, I mean, Facebook is, is obviously a huge social network and we, have, we, make it, we make it very easy to integrate with uh, Facebook. You can log in with it. And then we use that. A lot of schools are now having Facebook pages and stuff. So we want to create a community around that. So it, it, it just helps people kind of streamline how their community is because you, you go to all these different services, but then you, you know, you're managing all of them too. So as, as we're coming down and people, we're making things more relevant to them and streamlining that. That's the way we're engaging uh, kid or uh, 
Kinema yeah. is connecting with, with Facebook. Yeah. How did, how did you fund this company? Because a lot of people are watching this probably going, uh, well, if she can do it, I can do it probably. But how, how did you get that going? Yeah. So my co-founder Parth and I, uh, you know, started off very bootstrapping it together and working on it and, and uh, took, a, took, you know, quite a long time to get, uh, not quite long to get our product going, but getting enough momentum. And then we started talking to investors. We're very lucky. We have a great group of, of uh, advocates, people that have made some really great introductions. And so now we just closed our pre-seed round of funding earlier this year with uh, three incredible uh, investors, uh, K9 Ventures, SV Angel, and Wei Chu and Ethan Beard. And so we're really thrilled yeah. to have them on board. That's a good group of uh, investors. So they see yeah. the same pain point that you did. You know, they all is... have children. They went through it. So so it's nice to be able to work with people that have a, a, a direct relationship to the problem. Yeah, Mark Andreessen talks about this. The uh, software is eating the world. And this is uh, yet another example of how it's eating the world and making our lives better. Any last things that we need to know about what it does for yeah, uh, so it's, schools it's, or teachers? It's or? super, super simple. You just get on, search, uh, send in your application. That same information then can, you know, you don't have to fill out multiple forms. And then schools, they just reach out to us, create an account, and they get integrated. It's, it's, there's uh, five minutes. That's it. Very cool. Where do they learn more about it? Kidadmit.com. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for having us.